Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But this is the premise that we ain't um, going to be, oh, that breath already, that we ain't going to be sharing it. We're going to do this little voodoo thing to you. Ugh, can't be done. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Q&A. So there are a few questions on here for Gal as well. Um, and obviously joint questions. And we haven't done a pregnancy Q&A. I was a little bit nervous. I said on my Instagram, um, I feel like I've watered myself down a little bit and not spoke about certain things. So I don't want to upset other people. And you know what, I'm, like, I'm a nervous person and I do yeah. get really nervous. And like, what's it about when I get, when I feel like I've upset someone, I'm like really worried about it. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a pregnancy Q&A because I get, that's the most asked thing at the moment, which is obvious because we're expecting again, baby number four. So we thought we'd do a little Q&A on it and answer a few of the questions. I won't be doing like first trimester. That's already gone anyway. We're in our second trimester. I won't be doing like a third trimester unless my piles get bigger and... <laughs> Gary gets files and we might come on and do it and ask the questions. Or I could be even more visual than I was yesterday. Well, about that. <laughs> <laughs> so then, then we might do a third trimester if my symptoms get worse. What this fluffy bit of air there? So we're gonna go for I asked on my Instagram to ask a few questions. Um do you know what I thought? I thought we were, <coughs> thought we were filming then. Just want to get this over and done with. It was his idea, he skipped into the kitchen. Let's do it together. <laughs> oh, girl, don't make it look like I'm thinking. We're not going to post this, I promise. No, we're not going to post it. So I've been screenshotting and there's more that's actually come through. Oh, one sec, guys. I'm very excited. Just one second. I've just got to get away from my phone. The responses. The first question we've got, and loads of questions, is the same of this. Were we, ex were we planning another baby? You kind of were, weren't you? You wanted yeah, another one. You can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I was done. I really thought after number three that we were done. Alpha's birth was a little bit traumatic, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was a bit nervous. I did say, like, I was a bit scared of having baby number four because I thought after baby number three's labour, like Alpha's labour, it scared me a little bit. I genuinely thought I'm not going to make it out the next time. Um, and so, really, I don't think I wanted number four, but as time's gone by, and they're still little and squishy, and they're, you know, you're always gonna to wanna to kiss them and hug them, when seeing a lot of newborn babies, and that little smell. And our favorite thing is yours is as well, when you lift them up and they've got the little wrinkly back of the head. Yeah. He's the best with babies. He's absolutely loved babies. And he was saying, like, I'm not done yet. Like, I'm really not done. Um, so he was on the coil. Another question is, um, Just but you did, that yeah. <laughs> but you did want more, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm he, he wants more now. I said to him, I said, are we going to do the snip after? Because I don't agree with the hormones, with the um, contraception. It Millie, made you feel ill, didn't it? Well, Millie, I was two months into the pill injection with Millie, but I was really slim then, and they said I might have just metabolised it a bit quicker. It isn't 100%, um, and I hadn't missed it. It wasn't like it was an overlap, but Millie, we feel pregnant while I was on the pill injection with Millie. Me and him had only been together for four months. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Um, but yeah, we'd only been together four months, so we had to move in together. It was like we were quite young. I was 18, he was 21. Um, and yeah. No, I'm not. Who was 21? That was so bad. It was only three years no, I was 21 when, when Millie was born. Not when you felt, honestly. He's 21. When Millie was born. Not when you felt pregnant, and I was 20. You were 21. Was I? You turned 22 because Millie's the 16th and you're the first. I thought I turned 21 when Millie No, was because when we went out that night and we got drunk, it was your 21st birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I was lost like, a year. You lost a year. Like, well, you've lost a few years here, I feel with me. Um, but yeah, so my baby wasn't planned, but he does want more. He was like, I think we should have more. But yeah, contraception. I said, we're going to get the snip. He said, no, we're not going to. Um, but I said that I would have another baby maybe just because of the gap. I don't know what we're answering. You've got to help me out here a little bit because it is oh, baby what, brain. What did the person ask you? Um, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> was the baby planned? Yeah, the baby was planned. To a certain extent. To a certain extent. So I was on the coil um, and basically I've been on it for five years since Alfie because no other contraception seemed to work with me. I've always been super, super lucky with babies. We've always felt, we've always been really fortunate and we're really blessed in that area. Um, but I was on the coil and I was having a bit of a crash for me. I was meant to come off of it just as all the COVID lockdown happened, yeah. yeah. Um, but then, because obviously everyone else that needed the medical stuff, me having a coil taken out wasn't a priority, which is completely understandable. 
Um, but it went on so long and I was getting some really bad side effects, was not I? I was bad migraines, headaches every day, more so than ever. Um, a bit miserable, a bit mm. crazy. <laughs> I was one of my going a bit mad um, so we looked it up and it seemed to be that I was having a marina crash so basically the hormone had run out on the coil and um, it's the hormone one um, and we wanted to get it removed so you just got me private you was like look you just need to get it done get it out um, so the lady there did actually say would you like another one I said no I want to be free of it a little while I think there was a little bit in the back of my mind that we might have another she did say well I would recommend having a bit of a break um, letting a natural period come, it can take up to six months for them to start again. Three days after the coil got removed, had a period, a four day period, and then we found out when we was pregnant, actually we conceived the day after my period, so seven days after the coil come out, so we were so, so lucky. We couldn't believe We'd it. We'd spoken about it in a way we didn't. We had spoken about it. What was weird was, we actually said, should we try? And we told your nan, didn't we? We was like, we're gonna try for baby number four. Little did we not know that we was already two weeks pregnant. We <laughs> was already two weeks pregnant. And then I was like, I've already missed the period, because you start calculating it. And then actually, we took a test and we were pregnant. Yeah. I love him when we take tests. Like, it's the sweetest thing. Like, when I take a test, I, I look at it and I get that nervous feeling. It's sort of like, you know, I've never had negative, so I haven't got that to say that I've, you know, I've had that, that nervous for that. It's just that overwhelming feeling. He just jumps up and down like a little bunny, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's not very masculine, is it? <laughs> You're not very masculine. <laughs> I didn't jump up like a bunny. <laughs> you masculine. When you ask for permission, if you could get yourself an okay magazine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? When I said to you, you'd be on your phone, you went, I'm reading newspapers. <laughs> and I said, you've been looking at Katie Price's 20th venture. <laughs> Gossip, isn't it? <laughs> you love a cocktail and all, don't you? No. <laughs> you look a little bit young. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I definitely can't boast this. <laughs> oh, God, I'll hit myself. Um, so, <laughs> we're seven minutes in and we're on the first question. Hurry up, Rosie. Um, so, I don't like cocktails anyway, but. <laughs> <laughs> don't like any alcohol, really, do you? Um, so did we wait long to try? No, no, we didn't wait long to try. No, first question. First question, yeah, we planned. Yeah, yeah. Okay, planned. Yeah, um, sort, so, of. sort of. We already were before we planned, but then we planned and then we found out. So yeah. Um, but have we struggled? Sort of like, did we? How long did it take? So obviously, I've just explained that's how long it took. Um, we've always been really fortunate, haven't we? Yeah, we have been lucky. Like, even Millie was born, I went on to the pill injection again, but we had to be really careful with that as well, because where I'd fell before, but I was a little bit more, I had a bit more weight on me then, I thought I oh, may not metabolise it as much, um, so we used extra protection then. We've done that twice, it lasts three months, six months, and then we come off, it took about a month from that, and then we fell pregnant with Archie. Yeah. We was told that we couldn't fall pregnant, could we? While I was exclusively breastfeeding, Archie was just exclusively breastfed. And he said, oh, you know, your body's tricked into knowing you're already breastfeeding, so you won't fall pregnant. But that's a myth. <laughs> well, in yeah, our I case. Yeah, I should have told you that. Well, no, he did though, didn't he? Because yeah. I wanted to get contraception. He was like, well, maybe you shouldn't while you're breastfeeding. And actually, while you're breastfeeding, you can't fall pregnant. Um, so he told me that, but we actually fell pregnant with Archie, Alfie, when uh, Al Alfie was five months old. Mm. That was, a, that was the one that you didn't jump about so much for. You was really shocked though. Yeah, yeah, you was in a bit of a daydream. And then all of a sudden- I told him when I got home from work one night. Yeah. I was like, yeah, well, I'm pregnant. And I think he thought, yeah. I think he started checking his calendar to see if it was April Fool's or something. Mm -hmm. Well, he was just like, no, this ain't right. And then he found out that actually yeah. I was. You, you had a day of just like walking around like, <laughs> no Mickey Flanagan. Well, he just goes, he's held a tit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been walking around like that for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. I'll <laughs> make it look at myself. Um, so, yeah, it didn't take very long. We're very fortunate. We understand that. We know that thingy. We do also get questions as well. I've had a lot of questions asking, how do we conceive? Were there any things? I would rather not answer them sort of questions because we are just very, very lucky. We, we have got family members that have tried a really long time, haven't we? Yeah. And I think sometimes 
there's all these eating, eating well and doing this and relaxing and all this sort of stuff. But I think that's more for the people to respect. I would never want to say that because I think it comes a little bit condescending because it comes so easy to us. Really, really lucky. And I would never dare say to someone do this and do that because the truth is there is no magic. There is no magic that we have. We've just been very fortunate. Um, so another question. Were we, um, am I nervous about giving birth? And did you expect another boy? Um, well, you knew it was another boy. I knew it was going to be another boy. I thought it was going to be a girl. I was really sick the first three months, really sick, and I was only sick with Millie, wasn't I? I think all that sort of stuff's myths anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I do think maybe because I hadn't had a baby in so long, but the baby's all so close together with my hormones, I think maybe where I hadn't had a hormone for so long, it just knocked me sideways. Mm. I felt this pregnant, I've had a lot more symptoms yeah, as well. Yeah, you've been a lot more sick. And I think you've been struggling with this one a little bit more, haven't you? Yeah, I have, I have. Like the others, you wouldn't even know I was really pregnant, no. would you? Nothing too serious, just I think you're... Uh, oh yeah, I'm very fortunate, I'm very lucky, like in health-wise and stuff, but I just... Get more tired. But then I was 18 when I fell pregnant with Minnie. You're an old girl now, aren't you? You shouldn't say that, they're going to come after you. <laughs> they're going to come after you. Um, yeah, um, am I nervous about giving birth? Giving birth? Yeah, I am, and I... So I want to. It's not what I do on my own. It's not coming out of your vagina, is it? <laughs> yeah, but I've got me in the room, bro. These vaginas available to look in next week's OK magazine. <laughs> um, no, um, I have said to you, and I'm scared. Millie's yeah, birth, gonna, Millie's gonna birth was my first birth. I didn't know what to expect, so I figured just get on with it. Alf Archie's birth was amazing. Archie's birth was really relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> what For was, me. was it? Um, <laughs> No, you know what I mean? no it was, it was. Like honestly, you're watching a film, it's, it's very much what women write down their birth plans be. But I'm no fool in the illusion that I've had three births, they've all been completely different. That's like another question we might as well roll into this as well. Do you have a birth plan? No. Don't have a birth plan because I don't think there's any point personally. No, Archie's birth was like out of all the three, it was just a it just, Yeah, it just it just happened, but yeah, my body my body it. allowed it to happen. I find some girls, they put so much pressure on themselves to have this certain birth, and when it doesn't happen, mm. it's really hard. Yeah. Like, I, what did I say with the first birth? I said, I don't care, if I have to have pain relief, I've never given birth before. I know these women ain't screaming for nothing. Like, if it gets to the point and I have it, I'm not gonna feel like a letdown. But I know some people did, and with Millie, I will, I will put this down as a fact, I swear it's true. So I was in labour with Millie, like early labour, before it's established labour, like so like from one to three centimetres. I was in labour with her for about two days. It was horrible, wasn't it? I was mm. just in agony, I couldn't sleep, it was horrible. Um, so when I got there, the midwife said to me, look, let me give you some pethidine. Like, it's an injection they put in your leg, it will help you relax, you can actually go to sleep if you want to. Um, so I had the pethidine. I thought, oh, you know, and she was like, you're going to be too tired to push. So I thought, I'll grab pethidine. When I had the pethidine, I literally, it was knocking me out. I was going to sleep, but then I'm waking up fully in contractions. It felt like I was asleep and being woken up by being hit by a bus. It was like horrendous, yeah. horrendous. And I feel like with every other labour, even when I'm in pain, I kick my toe. What do you not do or the kids not do? Don't talk to you. Don't yeah, talk to me. I was doing that. I don't say that as a lie. But I go <laughs> zen. I go zen. They say it's mindfulness, but I've always just done it. I've just sort of like, I hold my breath. Just a nut, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I hold my breath and just try and take my pain my mind to another place. My pain threshold though, because of that though, you've got to say I'm pretty amazing with that. Yeah, you can take a lot of pain. And give I it. just take my deep breath and I just focus on something else, try and focus my brain on something else. And because I've had the pethidine, that weren't happening. Like literally, I weren't being able to build up for the contractions. It was just coming straight away. So I literally ended up having an epidural. I was like, and he was like, are you sure you want an epidural? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I want one. Um, it's a bit scary when they come in though with the needle and they say don't move just in case. That, that was a bit scary and that made me think that I thought, you know what, baby come um, and because I wasn't advanced enough in my labour, the epidural nearly had worn off hadn't it by the time I'm ready to push and she was like, oh this is fantastic because you'll be able to feel to actually push. I thought, oh, is it really that fantastic? <laughs> I thought it was going to be completely pain free, turns out not. Um, had the baby but because you can't feel, I had stitches, I tore, I was really bad with Millie, wasn't it? So I was like, next birth, I just said, I'm not going to have pethidine. So I'm just going to try and push through. If I end up having an epidural, I do, but I'm not going to have pethidine because that sort of like pushed me to have the epidural. It might work on other people, just on my body it didn't. Um, 
And I always said water birth if possible, didn't I? But if it was um, because the thing is, I think we just got lucky with our gym to water birth, didn't we? Well, the thing is, a lot of people go, I want water birth, but they've only got so many pool rooms of water births yeah. available, you know, especially with what's going on at the moment. And well, they might not be allowed to have a water birth. Um, we don't know what's happening. Touch wood. I, this is not wood. It's granite. A touch wood. And um, hopefully we will be able to, because that was amazing. And I, I have got to say, my midwife said that being in water is actually the equivalent pain relief to diamorphine. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, she was lovely, wasn't she? Mm. She's really lovely. Archie was born in his waters, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He's born in his waters. I said it's really rare. Um, so basically, he come out. And still he was in still in his sack. He's floating in his little sack in the water and then it just popped and they pulled him out. Even the did. midwife said she'd been doing it for like 20 years and never experienced she, it, didn't Yeah, she? yeah, she never experienced it. It's like one in 80,000. Then you'd think, I suppose, it's a Yeah, it's on Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought, how rare is this? Are we really? She said in Greece, years ago, ancient Greece, he would have been, ki he would have been a king. He would have been given like title and land because they would have been superstitious and full. But he had an artificial crown. He'd come born with his own crown. I was like, okay. Um, so I got my nan to knit him a little crown, I didn't know what I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I don't know why I think I'm so funny at it. That's another symptom of pregnancy. No, that ain't a symptom of pregnancy. I always like it. Oh well. No, you are a little bit funny. Okay, yes, yeah, so I am nervous to give birth. So Alchie's birth was amazing, no pain relief, a lot quicker. Some people are asking as well, were they quicker? They did get quicker from the first to the second. Then okay, Alfie's I don't think that's a uh, fact. Fact, as well. Your nan had seven and she yeah, said it got quicker each time. Yeah. But then my and mum. No, my mum had me a long labour, but then she had just as long as my sister. Yeah. It really depends, doesn't it? I think it's how close they are together as well. Um, yeah, no, uh, I'm nervous. So Alfie's birth, we'll just touch on that quickly. Mm. Yeah, Alfie's birth was really scary. <coughs> yeah, Alfie's birth was really scary. Sorry, I keep coughing. It's more like a, a nervous. I've not done much drinks. <laughs> nervous cough. <laughs> you ain't nervous at all. Yeah, I know, me. I know, but like coughs have always existed, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you know what they used to say? You used to fart to cut, no, you used to cut, cough to cover up a fart, and now in the shops you deliberately fart to cover up a cough. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to these days in case I've cracked my pants. <laughs> charm. <laughs> well, it's all a charm when you're pregnant. These, a lot of girls just don't admit it, don't admit it. Um, yeah, so Alfie's birth was quite bad. To be honest, had the mistake not been made, I think his birth would have been nice as well. So basically they said, oh, you're ready, you're four centimetres dilated, we can get in the pole. Got in the pole. Um, no, they yeah, and they broke your waters, didn't they? Oh, they broke my waters, yeah. They said, you're four centimetres dilated, your waters are really bulging. Um, so they popped my waters, went, you're four centimetres, get in there, shivered baby, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm sort of having a little splash around and then looking in the middle, I was looking at me to say. It took hours, didn't it? She's not really developing here. Like, she shouldn't be splashing about. And he's going, no, she's got really high pain for her shoulder. She's like, there's high pain for her shoulder. And there's, like, actually her swimming in the... <laughs> in the, in the, in the and I'm thinking, yeah, well, maybe I've just got, like, I'm, um, like, the, I don't know. Was it? No, they pop, they done your waters and they induced you, didn't they? No. no. I got out. What had happened to is, because I'd already had babies, my cervix, because obviously, you know, it never fully, fully closes, does it? Especially because no. I'd had a baby so close. I had bulging waters. My waters were so bulging, they was pushing my cervix open to look like it was four centimetres. I was actually only two centimetres, but before you're three centimetres, they can't pop your waters because it could take ages in that early stage of labour and the risk of infection to the baby. So I had to be induced. Mm. So had my waters not been popped by the midwife, I know it's a completely accidental thing. Um, you know, I don't blame her for that, but then my labour did end up quite bad. Mm. Um, so I got induced. Wow. Got induced, and then obviously the, when my heart rate dropped, baby's rate dropped. Mm. Um, all of these people started running in the room. My heart monitor just went boom, didn't it? And so did the babies. And I was at the stage where I was ready to push. Like I'd, I'd literally got. It was in an hour, wasn't it? Mm. Within an hour, I'd gone from two centimeters to ten. It was like excruciating. Um, still didn't have no pain relief though. I was just like, I don't think I even had. The, the ability to speak at that time, it was so painful. I think you were scared as well, wasn't it? I was scared, and I think maybe that done it. My heart rate dropped, and if anything, it should have really shut up because of the panic, um, but it didn't. My heart rate dropped, so did babies, and then when that happened, I started really panicking. And it is quite funny, really, wasn't it? Because they rung all the alarm bells, and these people started running down, and something just come over me. It was like this, <laughs> this like terminator power. I don't even know where it come from. I literally got up on all fours, he was ready to be pushed out, <laughs> but he just weren't coming. 
because my body wasn't naturally giving me the thing because it was all in juice. Well, I don't know where the almighty, I must have been watched by guardian angels that day. I squished him out and he'd come out. Squished him out? Well, I did squish him out. And exactly like, you know, I squished him out, he come out, but the midwife went. The midwife weren't ready, was she? She went, oh my God, he's come out. I haven't even got my gloves on. And in a sheer state of panic, bless her, I went, well, isn't it your job to have your gloves on? <laughs> I thought I've done my part. <laughs> and after, yeah, I'm so apologetic. And I'm, like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, I'm so sorry. It was the panic, because I'm thinking, you need to pick this baby up, he's hanging out, you need to grab him for me. And I sort of turned like around and lifted him out. Oh. And like, the danger went, it was just like, it was just, he'd have the cord wrapped around his neck. Yeah. And I think because obviously it isn't natural to go from like literally that in within an hour, is it? No. It was just like, and the stress and the worry. And, and well, I've just got- sense they was worrying and putting you as well. Yeah, we'd gone from the lovely pool bits and then yeah. down to the high risk board. High risk board, yeah. And then it, it ain't nice what you can hear on the wall neither, is no. it? Um, and obviously I weren't in pain at first as they're putting in the, um, the drip and stuff. And then you can hear other women, it's not nice. It's really sad. Um, and then when all the people come rushing in, that scared you and my mum. Mm. You always look nervous. My mum oh, never nervous. looked nervous. So when I looked to my mum and I see she was nervous, I was like, and I think you always used to look to my mum. That's why I'm hoping your mum can come with us this <laughs> No, it ain't gonna happen. Nah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We've done it for you. Yeah. <laughs> every time, every time. I'm sorry, I don't care. Every time I've been in labour, he's been at work. <coughs> and my mum was rung him. And my mum always says Depends the story. Around, me and your mum. <laughs> yeah, like a bicker on the phone. She, she goes, she's in labour. And he goes, is she really in labour? And she's like, yes. Gal, she's in labour, you need to come home. Really though, is she in labour? <laughs> he gets so nervous, he don't want to believe that it's true. <laughs> no, just because of me, a few times I went up to the hospital. I was in labour for two days, it just weren't progressing. It's not my fault, I weren't lying. Yeah, I was just being sure I didn't want to uh, come sit up the hospital. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, is there anything that's different to this pregnancy than two others? Yeah. The boys was, I'm a lot more tired. Yeah, but I think that's just... And obviously, my blood pressure. I've yeah, I'm not, obviously, just, I think, just... I've got low blood pressure in it, I'm out of breath. Yeah, but I think, I can remember you uh, being a bit breathless towards the end. Of, you know, I don't think that's quite normal yeah, at the end. Exactly. I'm, I've been out here, but I've been out of breath since like three months. Yeah, I think you've struggled this time more. Not struggled, but... Oh, I know what you mean, I have struggled. Yeah. I don't feel like, I don't, I'm sort of this person where I don't take criticism, I don't, take it like and feel offensive. offended. No, I don't feel offensive. I think all pregnancies are just different. Though. They are just different. So. And, I don't, and it's like, you know, you see these women, and what was that pregnancy feel? And even though Alfie's only six, it seems a long time ago. I don't feel I can really remember. Yeah, a lot of it you do forget. No. I think to be honest, Alfie and Archie's pregnancy. Yeah, I think one thing I can remember is that you've been more tired this time. I have. Mm. But then a lot of people have said, well, you've also got three children to look exactly. after. And obviously, when terrible. they were little, yeah, they were little, but they, they're all for having a little squish and a cuddle now and again. And, you know, but now they're on, we're on bike rides, we're at the beach, we're out. You've got to be actively mm. involved. I mean, you've been an angel with that, really, because when I've been tired, like even on Sunday, I was really, really feeling it one night. Mm. I was exhausted. Yeah, we've been out all day Saturday. All day Saturday, and that wiped me out. I was exhausted. So he literally just left me in bed um, and said, like, said to me, like, do you want to come? And I was like, I can't. And it makes me upset because I don't want to not be a part of it. But he got the kids all ready. I come down, the house was spotless. He tidied up and everything. He'd gone out with the kids on their bike stands in the cafe on the on the seafront, hadn't you, mm. on the beach? And then I like, literally like had another I had another hour of sleep, but because the cafe weren't open until later, um, well, you managed to come down. Didn't yeah, you? he was all playing on the beach. Mm. So he was like, "Look, we're waiting for the cafe to open. Then we're going to go on a big bike ride afterwards." Um, but then I'd had an hour, I jumped in the shower and I rang you and said, where are you? And I literally just, because the beach is at the end of our road, and I just walked down there and met up with you. We had a breakfast. Poor you though, because you meant to watch the football that day. It's coming home. And uh, you didn't, did I was standing on the beach getting sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Barely moved. <laughs> Gary looks like he's fell into the sea from a great height and slapped the water. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Even never- my feet, the front of my feet, oh. Yeah, your, 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 your feet slapped the water. <laughs> it's agony. Lucky it's, I've got a week off work. Yeah, Billy, 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 man. She went, is Daddy all right? He's in the shower. I was screaming you. in the shower <laughs> this morning. The water was too hot. I like put him cold. But Billy loves the water hot like that. Oh, but you were the one shopping freezing. He was screaming. And Billy went, it, it sounds like his skin's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it, I'm telling you. I know, Billy, really. his skin's not coming off. I've got a freezing cold and it was all right. 
Yeah, you was probably screaming though, weren't you? Yeah, it's hurt. Well, yeah, but I got in the shower after you and I got in and I literally got chilled. It's only the sun, though. I thought, two hours, that'd be all right, getting a little touch of sun. I've got SPF on you, on your back, but yeah. I didn't think on the front. <laughs> First time took a tea shower. And he never takes his top off. He took his top off on the day. Just like, just take top off. You might as well catch a colour of life, but he took his top off. And this is his actual skin. It looks like a top. <laughs> <laughs> your skin is, sorry, I know as I'm touching you, you're trying to keep yeah. your brave face up. <laughs> your skin is really bad, isn't it? Yeah. He looks it's like. Mainly on this right hand side, though. It's on because, this right hand <laughs> side. Because I, can, I can remember thinking, come on, I better turn over. But I didn't, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd been asleep for a couple of minutes. From this <laughs> last word, I thought, oh, I'm in danger, I better roll over. But I didn't. No, but the sun didn't feel that up, though, did it? It's because you're on the seafront. We kept getting in nice the sea, it's cooling right? off. Yeah, it was nice. Mm. But you laid your wine up for a little bit while I'm sitting there building sun castles and sand castles with the kids. And you were like chilling. And you didn't, it didn't feel that hot, did it? Well, my we legs and arms never get burnt. It's no. a bit <laughs> The kids are smothering sun cream. I didn't get to think about my big baby, did I? Mm. Sorry, I slapped the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really burnt, really burnt. See, I'm clever, I put sun cream on. Um, this is meant to be a pregnancy Q&A. Feeling more exhausted. How do you cope with the heat when it's too hot? I've been all right in that. How do you cope with the heat? I'm 28 weeks pregnant, I'm 28 weeks pregnant and it's too hot. You don't. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing. I do cope with the heat. Yeah. She just, just don't go out. <laughs> I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Today I have. I don't I wear makeup ever. I? No. And I've been to sort of tying my hair back. And um, I have found that I'll have a shower in the morning. And I might have to shower just after I get out from school because I just feel really good. Probably in the shade, you know. Yeah. Apart from always in the boot. Dogs barking at the seagulls again. We live in the seaside area, he's barking at the seagulls. Um, it's a hobby of his. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling. But an old wife's tale is actually true. Is you know you see the older ladies and they're drinking tea in the heat and you think oh no I need a cold drink. Well actually scientists have proven that you should drink hot drinks because then on the inside it tells your body to cool itself down. And um, so actually I've got to think of anything worse than having a cup of tea boiling on eight. But you? I've just had a tea and I feel really cold. Yeah, I think hot today. I could have had a cup of tea on Sunday. I think you had coffee on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday morning. Well, 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 well. <laughs> would I consider a home birth? Um, I would have done. If it was oh. after Archer's birth. I wouldn't want to. Not now, because I wouldn't want to scare anyone off their home birth. It's like, you know your own body, ladies. You know exactly what you're doing. Um, but, for me, <laughs> <laughs> but for me personally, Bertie! You want to get him in? No, it's all right. It's one of the neighbours up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Bill and Moore. Val and Al. Oh, I just thought it was a baby brain then. I thought Bill and Moore run. I was like, Val and Al and Bill and Moore. What would rhyme? I don't know what you're talking about. Mill, if her name was Mill. Yeah, I'll carry on. Yeah, so, it'll carry on. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have a home birth just because mine drastically changed I'm last time. I'm not a warrior for that, yeah. Yeah, I want to know that I'm with the resources ASAP. Touch wood, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I know loads of people that have had home births and it's been amazing for them. And we've also got like a low risk ward where we are, where they have, it isn't part of a hospital, it's a maternity ward. And I, I could even go there and my, one of my friends had the baby there. As soon as the baby had gone to the toilet, she'd gone to the toilet. They were actually allowed, done a few tests. They was allowed to come home within two hours, which is amazing. We had Alfie and we was there till the next day. Yeah, we sweating next, quite no, hard. late the next night. It was yeah. really hard. It was really hard. But then still, had I have been, I got him out. I, I managed to get him out and we didn't need that extra in to help. But what if my body hadn't? And this is what I'm saying. This is why I don't. Just in case. Yeah, it'd be nice, a nice experience, but... Yeah, it'd be a better experience, I'm, but it's just better to be safe than yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm too much worried to have that. I know you'd have a midwife here, but... I'd rather get onto the babies. Yeah. And I probably will, but it's yeah. just... Uh, he ain't even barking at the seagulls now, he's barking to the top of the stairs. Is he out the window barking at people? Yeah. I'll get him, get him let him back no, up. No, he's not. No, come on, because he's barking on the camera. It's, it don't matter, it's camera. That is so annoying. I would not want to watch a video if there was barking. Here he comes. Come on in. Come in. He come on in. Oh, he's a good boy. Pick him up. Come on in. He's a good boy. He looks so good boy. He come on in. Get good boy. Who's that? I'm going to come up his lap. Oh, he's a good boy. Um, so, more questions. Baby names. Are we going to go with the A name? 
Like, we'd like to for some weird reason, wouldn't we? Even yeah, we, we actually were going to... Even though still like Kawhi Alfie, Archie and Archie Alfie. Yeah, it's just to make it even more possible. We have decided a name, but I we said it the other morning. We don't keep saying it because either, every time we keep saying it, we done it with Millie. So Millie was meant to be Poppy. And we called her Poppy throughout the whole of the pregnancy. And the name Poppy is a really nice name. Um, you know, no offence to any Poppies. Literally, it was a week before I gave birth. Yeah, I it. think it should be uh, sort of... Killed it a bit. Which yeah. is weird, because you can't kill a name. No, but I think we it. caught... When did she come? I thought I didn't. I was so emotional when I rung you when you was at work. Yeah. I was in the bedroom, and I was making the bed. And I went, oh, Poppy. And as I said it, I must have said it in such a dozy way. So I went, oh, Poppy. And I thought... Oh my god, why am I why am I inflicting this on my child? Like my voice with the name just didn't go. And I wrote you crying and I was like, she's not a poppy, she's just not a poppy. And he was like, alright, pick what you want. And then I looked and had some names, I wrong you about an hour later. I was like, it's a Millie. I think we had another name for Millie as well, though, didn't we? Right at the beginning. She was going to be George or Harrison. Oh, you're talking for before we know you, man? Yeah. Right, yeah. George or Harrison. Archie was always Archie. We never even had anything. I think Archie and Alfie was always Archie. But we knew Archie was a boy. Yeah. I don't know what it was. We just knew. Like it was so different pregnancy. We didn't even pick any girl names, did we? No. Yes, drinking my hair. I think he's a bit bald and smooth. Um. Yeah. No. And Alfie. What was he going to be? I think he was Alfie from. No, it wasn't. He was going to be Oliver the whole way through. Was it? Yeah. Your nan went. Ah, oh, your nan is a people pleaser. She would never say she don't like something. We were going for Oliver. And she was like. Ah, oh. yeah, that's nice. Well, then that's all right, though, for a start. No, oh, she's I'm trying to do a London accent, and I'm done the next thing. Oh, yeah, that's nice. No, she don't, she's got a really soft voice. Mm. Yeah, girl, that's nice. Yeah, all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the whole video trying to take off me then. <laughs> yeah, but she's done it. And I looked at her and I thought, you don't like that, no, do you? Like, it's such a as I can't remember what, like, with Alfie, but I thought he was always going to be Alfie. Yeah, but I like names like Ethel, don't I? Mm. And Beatrice and... Uh, I don't know, I like really... Old fashioned. Oh, yeah, Vi. I like all the old, old fashioned names, I like all that. Fine. But Millie, I wanted Millicent. Archie, I liked Archibald. And Alfie, I liked Alfred. And I wish that had gone on their birth certificates, but we didn't. We'd done the abbreviated names. I don't know, did it? No, it's... I know, but I really did. Um, but we're struggling with middle names this time, really bad. Only the boys have got middle names. It's only the boys that have got middle names. We didn't give Millie a middle name because Gary was like, what's the point of middle names? I never used I've a middle name. I've got a middle name, yeah, I've never used it in my life. Terry, Gary Terry. Sounds like a footballer. Um, but yeah, and that's probably just because John Terry. But um, yeah, never never had a middle name. And I don't have a middle name, I have a double barreled name, which is Rosie Flo. And I used to find that very humiliating during school. So I just went along with it. I was like, do you know what, actually, let's do this kid a favour and not give it a middle name. I um, think a bit of boys would give it because of... Yeah, mm. your granddad had passed the, the yeah. month before Archie was born and yeah. basically brought Gary up like his dad. Um, and it really... So we thought we, we wanted to pay homage to him, really, didn't we? And put his middle name I know in. we felt out of order on your granddad. Yeah, we felt a bit out of order on my granddad. Not, not that much at that time. We didn't know we'd go more. No. And then when Alfie came... Yeah, my dad's no longer here. So we just thought, like, my father figure, Gary's father figure, Gary's named after his dad. Um, so we just done... Um, um, Archie, Ronald, Terry mm. um, for Archie and then for Alfie it was Alfie, Steve and Tony so you, your granddad and my granddad the other double granddad. granddad, yeah and we always say no, Millie, got... Millie always goes, well, we're middle names so I said it's alright, we'll give I'm so, no, but I'm really, <laughs> I, what about the, <laughs> I did mean in a horrible way oh and you did have a middle name because none of your nerves died <laughs> <laughs> it's true though isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> But it was true. It was true. I think Archie had. He wasn't going to put that in. Poor Archie had all the dead granddads. <laughs> <laughs> and Alfie had, the, Alfie had the alive ones. That's so terrible. <laughs> but we actually said this in bed. It's so like terrible. <laughs> but like, my dad and his granddad would really laugh at this. We're not being disrespectful. We've all got quite right. a silly sense of humour. But we even said to him with this one. Yeah, we but we didn't know he was going to have a mix of. Should we have a mix of. <laughs> Didn't think it no, and my mum's name's Lee, and your mum's name's Lynn. And I said, what about Linley? Like Linley, like as in like what, name, the name Finley, what, like Linley. No middle name for the boys. No. The boys, like there's twins, but baby. <coughs> no. And then he said his name then. He's not having. He's not having your mum and my mum's name as their middle name. Ah, why not? Lee's a boy's name as well. Right. So what? Have um, you yes. That one? I don't know. Yeah. 
Will you be breastfeeding? And so, well, this is another thing. I um, would never push breastfeeding on anyone. I think bottle on breastfeeding. I actually personally think breastfeeding is only good if you can do it. If you can't yeah, do it, so. the best thing for your baby is a healthy mum. Yeah. Happy mum, isn't it, really? Yeah. It is. Millie, she was breastfed for three days. She was tongue-tied. It wasn't my breast. It was Millie's tongue. And sometimes you just can't... Go get... on. <laughs> it was Millie. Blaming <laughs> the baby. No, no, no. But it was. It was Millie's tongue. And the thing is, by the time, because she wasn't latching, my milk was coming through, I got such bad mastitis, it wasn't coming through. Right. And they weren't very helpful with like wanting to show me what to do. Um, and it was hard. You could try it. I did try it, and it didn't work, but she had bottles. And actually, she's our most healthy child of anything, to be fair. She's the only one that never gets catches anything. Mm. No, I'm joking. The boys, the boys had breasts, didn't they? The boys had breasts, year old. Archie was eating a lot though, wasn't he? He mm. weaned quite a lot, so he didn't have as much breast. And he stopped having as much breast when we moved into our house and was doing a lot of decorating. He obviously wasn't wanting yeah, to lash as much. Bit, six months? Yeah. Six months old. Yeah, he had six months exclusively of breast. And then he was weaning as well, so he wasn't having as much breast. But breast finished when he was about a year. Arch Alfred was a year as well. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed breastfeeding. So much more easier, personally, I think. Like, there's no sterilising bottles. I don't have to get up, I don't have to get up either. Don't. You didn't have to get up with a bottle fed, because you worked. I, I, I never used to wake you. You was like, he's a heavy sleeper with that. Like, I was a really light sleeper with that. I'd never wake him up. I don't know what went wrong with you. Apart from one <laughs> night, apart from one night though, wasn't it? When I literally, I was breastfe I was feeding Millie, I was bottle feeding Millie, and I was falling asleep while mm -hmm. I was feeding her, and I was like, gal, you're going to have to take over, because yeah. I thought it felt dangerous. But other than that, that was only at one time. Um, and yeah, breastfeeding I find it easier, it's more convenient. I do find you get stares from people sometimes though, and it's a little bit, you hate that, don't you? Yeah, I just, I you don't it's see natural it. thing. Yeah, I you. It should be accepted no matter where you are, really. We right? ain't, we ain't, like, I would never just get my boob out no, and I mean, just put it on someone. Like, I do cover up. myself up because I appreciate that not everyone, and not everyone from yeah. this generation, are, like from old generations, are the same. I get that. Mm, I completely get that. I know it's little heads on the, on the thing. Be respectful for other people. It's just natural, isn't it? You, you have said though, you don't think that I should have to cover up, but it's just the way of the world that you just do I mean, you shouldn't to. have to. But no, that's a, that's no, a... you shouldn't have to. Like, but even like, um, yeah, but you, you just think it's the most be a bit thing. Be a bit discreet, just... But what have you said before? When you've seen women breastfeeding, what do you do? You just look away, don't you? Just look away, give them their space. No. Like, isn't, you don't make them feel uncomfortable, do you? No, of course not. No, but then I, we, I met someone, and I'm really lucky with that, because even when there was all that sort of, like, I was talking about, all the women feeling frightened and stuff. You was like, well, if I was ever in a strange place and there was a woman on her own, I deliberately crossed the road, make sure that she like felt safe and stuff. You've always been really respectful in that way, mm. especially with breastfeeding and stuff like that. You always have been. Um, but yeah, you just, yeah, breastfeeding, I, I did find easier because it literally is just straight on the breast, no bottles to wash, no preparing bottles, none of that stuff. People have asked as well, will I be using any um, prep machines and stuff, including my sister. I won't be using their prep machines. I find they're harder work than what they were. Have we done it the free time? It worked for us, didn't it? Yeah, it did. We was just very old no, school. You end up going out or going down to see someone for a day. You have to take like, a whole car load just to take your baby to see them and granddad. And they don't need that. We don't, need, we don't think we need that. We don't need that. Personally, I know some people do. I mean, we've never been into that though, have we? No. I think at first with Millie, a lot of the reason we didn't have a lot of that stuff in the first place, we didn't really have the money when we first started that with Millie anyway, did we? Like, we didn't, like, go out and buy, like, a, a £300 swing. We no. got a little bouncer. Yeah. Couldn't really afford it. Um, but, like, but it worked, so why would you now do it just because you can do it? So we didn't do it with the boys when we could do it, did we? Yeah. We didn't feel the need to. It worked for us, didn't it? How we do it? Yeah, it worked for us in that sense, yeah. Um, more questions, sorry. Oh, another one. Do do you find, do, do have sex stopped completely during pregnancy? <laughs> you don't even lie say yes. Yes. <laughs> um, personally, it's never put us off in, a, like, in four pregnancies, has it? No. You go and read as your top now. No, Look, Larry's no. walking out now. No, no, oh no, no, he's walking into the room now. It's a subject he actually wants to talk about. No, it's not. No, 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 no you find it uncomfortable, didn't you? Um, a sex during pregnancy. Gary really likes me pregnant. How could you not? Yeah, it's natural, yeah, isn't it? He loves that. Yeah, he's like, big boobs, yum. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, but you are weirdo. Because I always used to feel conscious after having Millie because my boobs were really perky when I was like before getting pregnant. 
and I had a really flat washboard stomach and I never had the confidence that I do now and I would say a lot of my confidence comes down to you. I don't need you to give me confidence now, I, my confidence comes from me. You definitely don't need a man to make you confident but you definitely helped in the stage. You've not stopped your bit, am I boring you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But like my boobs are all like squishy and he's like, I love that. I love that you look like a real woman. Yeah. In your opinion, real women come in all different shapes and sizes, yeah, but for you, you love it. If I lay on my side and I'm in the bed and I've got my little squishy tummy, like when the baby's not in there because at the minute it's like full grown, you love my bump anyway, but when I've got my little saggy belly, you go, oh, I love that little bit of your belly. Yeah. I go, how can you like that? Like years ago, I go, how can you like that? Then you'd be like, oh, because you made the babies and that. Oh, I love you. You're so cute. Um, yeah, we're not going to do it on the camera. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know we're talking about it, it ain't like that. Yeah, you know, so we, we still do, it's not an issue, we still do, we think it's natural, but also I know friends that don't just because they find it really uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable at the moment, aren't I? Mm. But just you look at my mouth. Do I? <laughs> just spice it up a bit, change it up a bit. But yeah, no, to be fair, we don't have problems in that department, do we? Yeah. Well, was picking a name easy? No. No, hard because really what hard. we put the four All the best of. names have gone in my family. Like, yeah, Gary's got such a big family and we've got so many little kids that are all about the same age and they're all boys. Um, well, no, they're not all boys, but all the girls' names are lovely as well. All the girls' names are lovely, but all the boys' names are like, I think, are really nice names. It did make us laugh because his cousin Steve has actually got four kids and I think Gary didn't even realise he'd done it. No, I did realise. He went, well, the best name is blah, 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 blah. I went, that's Becky and Steve's kids. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't realise I'd done it, but oh. <laughs> I do think they're the best names. Yeah, they're your favourite names. They're my favourite names, yeah. We do like Georgie yeah. and George. Like a few names. Yeah, but it's, it's hard. We actually like Georgie for a boy, like Georgie boy, but a lot of people said that's a girl's name. We like Georgie. Um, so it was harder. I think because we put the A on Archie's and then we done the A with Alfie, mm -hmm. we said that an, an, an M name for Millie. Millie was going to be Mabel. Not really, um, baby was going to be, if it was a girl, it was going to be Mabel. I think if we was going to have a girl, it would have been easier to name her yeah. than having a boy. Yeah. I was the next question. Was you happy that you had a boy or would you rather to have another girl to even it out? I didn't care. Uh, oh. no, I, if, how do you say it about that sound horrible? Because I would have liked to... Gary said if you could have chose, he probably would have chose to have another little girl because it feels so long since he's had a little girl. Um, but actually, when we found his own boy, he was like, yes. No, I, I, didn't, boy. I actually didn't mind one little bit. No, you didn't. I, did, I didn't actually care. But if I could choose, not now because we're not having a boy, but at the beginning, if I could have chose, chosen, I'd have chosen a girl. It was funny though, because now, isn't it funny, we went for a private scan, to a sexing scan, and we had our 20 minute scan the other week. Boy. And it come back, and we was like, can you imagine if they said, actually, it's a girl and they've got it wrong? And he actually said then, well, obviously, once you get used to it, you get used to it. But I want it to be a boy now. He said, because I see that as my little boy. He yeah. said, I've got used to him being a boy. And I said, yeah, so it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we would be happy to have a boy. Sorry, this is really long. I'm going to... You can <laughs> we'll grab a learn to edit, gal. Properly. Um, and get it out. Right. Oh, 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 oh. How was your first trimester? This one, I was really, really sick and tired. Um, so you're seven weeks and you're with your third and feel so sick and tired. Um, congratulations. I yeah. felt, that one? Yeah. My first trimester was horrible, wasn't it? I was really sick. Yeah, I had to go really on the medication, like tablets. Um, and even by the end, them tablets weren't really working. But then like you said, continue to take them because can you imagine how you was feeling if you weren't taking the tablets? Um, I wasn't even able to sit water and stuff. Like that cupboard, yeah, oh, people couldn't even open that cupboard because <laughs> there's spices in it. And I'd be in the living room and I'd be like, shut the cupboard, I can smell the spices. Will baby have his own room? Yes. Yeah, so, and people are asking where will the baby's room be? So, we moved into this house and the loft has been converted. So, yes, it's got right. Velux in there, it's all done, converted up there. They ran out of money and didn't get a carpenter round to reconfigure and put some stairs in. So, that will be the only job that we have to do is do the stairs. Um, so, it's a room up there ready waiting. We did get it painted last year and prepared, didn't we? Mm. We can have it as a spare room. Um, but now we know baby's coming. Millie is really excited. She really wants to go up there. It's yes, such it's, a big room as well. She'd love it up there, wouldn't it's she? It's a lovely space, like, and it's got loads she of cupboards and space. She can actually have a double bed up there. She can actually have a double bed. She's got loads of space up there. And I think she'll like it being away from the boys. She loves it. And we have got ideas as well, because at the moment we've got water tanks. There's another room that you can go in from it that's got a water tank in it. Um, and not at the moment, but it is a, a plan to yeah, have the water ensuite. tank removed and get a little ensuite oh, up maybe there. Just, Whatever, maybe, definitely a toilet or something. Little, like, like a little sink. wash cubicle yeah. and sink and stuff so she can like, you know, do her makeup, wash her hands, go to the toilet in the night and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, and will we be doing a tour of his nursery? We will. Yeah, we'll stuff. Are you going to be buying new or have you kept stuff from Last Baby? Got nothing. We've got nothing left from Last Babies. I really thought we were done and we donated a lot of our stuff to mm. charities and to people that we knew were having babies. So we, like, I'm quite ruthless We've not got fed, actually, have we? Like from... No, we've just kept all the sentimental pieces. Yeah. Other than that, that's it. Um, so we haven't got anything. But my sister, her baby, like Lottie, my niece, she's one. So my sister said we can have a lot of her stuff. Yeah. But a lot of it's mod cons. And we're not really into mod cons. So we've said, oh, like, really? Sorry. like, she's going to let us have the swing, wouldn't she? Like, no. French power. I was like, no. She's like, you've got it for free. Go and take it. And I was like, no. Because I, I don't know. I just, I'm so scared that we're going to. Because our kids are so, like, independent and, like, aren't they? Mm. I'm just scared that I'm going to bring up a brat because there's a big, <laughs> big gap. Um, but yeah, so we said no about that, no to the prep machine and all that. And it's really kind of her, but I can say because I've had their scan, they've announced it. My cousin Albert, he and his girlfriend Bailey, they're having a baby now, aren't they? Mm. So he's not going to go to waste because they'll use all the stuff. And they're new time mummies, which is and mummy and daddy, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, I think they're having a girl from their scan though. It's got the cutest little profile their scan. Um, so yeah, we, we're not going to be using any, we haven't got anything left over. We are going to upcycle the wardrobe though, aren't we? Oh, the wall, Millie's wardrobe. The so yeah, wardrobe. so Millie's wardrobe, we bought her some new lockers for her bedroom. So they're going to have the wardrobe, we're going to paint that in yellow, we're going to upcycle that. We're not really people to spend loads of money unnecessarily. We've always gone Ikea and got cots and stuff, haven't we? Yeah. Like I said, when we first had Millie, we didn't have the money to spend a thousand pound on a cot. And what did we say? Our, 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 our circumstances changed. Like by the time we moved out, our circumstances changed quite drastically. You're, you've got a different job. You'd qualified and everything then, hadn't you? Mm. He weren't qualified. He was training and it was hard. And then I'd stopped working and it was it was difficult. Like we got by. It was lovely. We actually said it was one of the happiest times. What, up our flat? Yeah, yeah. up our flat. We actually used to get a ten pound takeaway at the week, and we thought we was living the high life. We was mm. never happy all week. Nice. It was no lovely. expectations, was it? No, we just used to just chill out and have each other's company. Mm. We'd go take Millie to the park and go feed the ducks, and mm. it was so nice. But then once you qualified, life completely changed. We've got our house and everything. It was really nice. Um, but that sort of changed. And we turned around when we found out we was pregnant with Archie. What did we say? We ain't actually even going to bother with all that expensive cots and stuff because how long are they in it for? Ridiculous amount of time. It is silly, isn't it? Like, not off anyone else. Like, that people can do what they want. Yeah. I know, like, some, some one of my friends, her it sister. It doesn't look nice, but it looks gorgeous. Yeah. But she's kept hers for all four of her children. Yeah, exactly. And that's amazing. Well, but that is, you probably got to keep for all the babies anyway, couldn't you? <laughs> no, no, you couldn't. So maybe it's because it's more in the long run. Well, no, 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 not really. Because <laughs> no. the cops are like 45 quid from IKEA. Yeah, but we think. might. <laughs> let, uh, yeah, but we. All the other bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we just spend differently. Yeah. We just spend differently. We just do it differently. I'd rather buy the furniture that we've all lost on years. Obviously, a cot they're never going to for years and years, are they? Yeah, like Millie, like, like Millie, she's picked her beds. Like a wardrobe or whatever. She's picked her, yeah, other bits like other that. Other bits like that, that might spend your money on. Yeah, yeah. like cot and mm. crib. We never have really, have we? The crib, we've always... No, because it was that crib, wasn't there? The one that looked like a banana. They were really thinking it was all the grey wicker and that was really in at the time and they were like 300 quid for a crib and most cribs are like 40 pounds mm. and everyone had them but then my friend her daughter was really long and they're not as long as the other ones and she had to go and buy the other one anyway <laughs> and he was like what are you and mummy for because <laughs> he should have been that but really it was lovely though wasn't it mm. it was nice i wouldn't change that it was really nice you make do and um but sad like that, she literally had everything though, didn't she? She, did. she had everything. Literally, her little outfits, her clothes, and you make do. Mm. I don't think me and you bought ourselves any new clothes for about a year. I still do. Two don't. years. You still don't, do you? You only first got to buy Christmas and treats and yeah, stuff. Yeah, right, that's my sunburn. Yeah, I know. Well, you've, yeah. got, you've got like a hair yeah, on you. Oh, is it coming bad. through your shirt? <laughs> Pull it out. Oh, that is really sore. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think now. Oh, nursery things. What nursery themes are we doing? It's kind of gone like jungle theme, isn't it? I don't really know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> they're more like the lions and the giraffes and oh, stuff. Right, it's kind yeah. of jungle theme. We've got them them bits. Yeah. yeah. That's what we bought, apparently. You know we have. How are you finding pregnancy number four? Yeah, we're pregnancy number four. We've gone on that, haven't we? Yeah, mm. we're feeling all right with that. Um, do we take extra aspirin? 
No, I didn't think we was allowed to take aspirin when you're pregnant. Because I was told to take aspirin before, when I, with my heart. Remember when the paramedic said you can take up to is it 75 milligram or something of aspirin to just, you know, I don't know. See all. Sorry. Do you have any tips for first time parents? Yes. Don't be hard on yourself. And enjoy it. Enjoy it. Oh, uh, what did we say? Like, honestly. You're always rushing. When... Yeah. Oh, my God, they're holding their own bottle. Oh, my God, oh, they're taking when, their when, first steps. When you're pregnant as well, you're like, oh, I can't wait for the next scan. And it's like, oh, yeah, every stage is life. Yeah. Like, literally, when you're pregnant, all you want to know is how far you're it pregnant. It goes so, so quick, doesn't it? 20 weeks. Oh, my God, my baby's the size of sweet potato. Oh, my God, next week, they're an aubergine. And you're just always waiting for the next vegetable size <laughs> they're going to be. And it goes so quick. Our oldest is 10 next month, yeah. and it's unbelievable. It like yesterday, she was being born. And we saw that little girl at the school from behind, oh, and yeah. she looked like Millie, yeah. and it, we nearly cried, didn't we? It broke our hearts. She literally looked like Millie from behind, with her little ringlety blonde hair. That's what Millie's hair was like when she was little. And as she walked, she was talking, and it just brought it all back how little Millie was. Oh, yeah, I think where are you? We'd do anything to have more time. Yeah, because where are, I used to work quite long hours. I've, there's a lot of I've forgotten about, you know what I mean, with Millie and yeah, boy, the, even the boys. In the beginning, uh, yeah, the boys as well. I'd say up until like Alfie was about two when we moved here. Is that how old he was when we moved here? He's six, yeah, two. Bloody hell. When we moved here, you took it more easy, but up until he was two, so you just think Millie was five. Mainly then. Millie because of the way I've seen Up until like, Millie was five, you worked day and night. Mm. You'd only see her on Sundays. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? So I take, yeah. My make the most of it. Make the most of it and take it each day as it comes and enjoy it. And another thing Every is as well, even the bad times that. when they're being naughty, I'd enjoy it. And we've got to be honest, because we didn't have a lot when we fell pregnant, because you just, you know, you, you, we just weren't prepared, were we? Um, but obviously saving and all stuff like that, once once our circumstances change, you don't <laughs> stop chasing it still. Yeah, but you always you get continue. by it as well, I find. That's what I mean. Don't, and you wish you you'd have gone easier because things always get easier. You always feel like you time. need more money and all that, but really you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. And we realise that because where we didn't have a lot... Of course you need money, of course well, you need money yeah, to live. But once you qualify, we're saving, saving, saving to try and change our lives. But once we changed our lives, we, we didn't just enjoy what we had. No. We continued to want more yeah. and more and I more. I think since we moved here... And you yeah. missed that. And do you know yeah. what? We could have missed out on the sofas that we bought then that we don't even have now because exactly. you know they, but you can't forget back their memories ever can mm. you you'd like just just take it in enjoy obviously it. enjoy it and when any any, any free time that you do get and the hard times enjoy it yeah and the hard times mm. and it's hard when you first have a baby you might go from a relationship to not bicker and you do bicker sometimes because you're both you're tired tough. and it's hard just give each other the benefit of the doubt i'd say mm. and relax Take it all in. Much, really. No, take it all in. Don't be too hard on yourself. The dishes can always be done tomorrow. The cuddles you can never get back. That's it. Um, also as well, I know this is something that isn't even in the questions, but with birth, like well, I have had what well, how did you find things after birth? I'm just gonna be completely honest now. No one told me, did they, what to expect? And I don't think no one tells new mums what to expect. Um, and I remember Gary's mum's best friend, Jenny, she gave me two tips and they were amazing. When I give birth, she said to your mum, it's because your mum had serum, so she wouldn't have known. She said, tell Rosie to take a jug of water in, uh, warm water, when she goes away. Which I know this sounds really silly, but to pour while you're in, because if you have had stitches or you're sore or anything like that, urine really stings. It really, really stings, no matter how much you do it. So if you pour, it doesn't sting. Um, so done that. And also when your milk comes in, and it comes in too much for the baby and you get mastitis, massage with an electric toothbrush, hot water, try and in, in the water and, and stuff. Wrap yourself up as well. And wrap yourself it's up like, quite tight. Like a band, like a bandage. A bandage so that more milk can't come. You just feed into the baby, don't get too much to get the mastitis. They worked amazing, didn't they? Perfect. With a bit of blink of an eye, that's all done and dusted and they're walking about and... Yeah, yeah. But like no one tells you these things and I think like your body changes as well. Like your belly after you give birth, it looks like a raisin. It's like you get so upset on the stretch marks. My stretch marks are all silver now. You can hardly you see them. Back, you? you do. You, know, you, you, strong, you? you say you bounce back. You never go back to your pre pre thingy unless you have got the time and energy to proper proper. And even then, I've got fitness friends, and their better bottom of their belly still hasn't gone back. And I think people are just too hard on themselves. And what? I said, you can't. You get comfortable. No, you can't. It's because there's big bump there. He's he's his little space now. Um. But yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. Also, I mean, I'm going to touch on the piles. I know it sounds oh. <laughs> I never had piles. No, because I, I, I think it's horrible because women don't get told this and they feel like absolute crap 
when they don't get told these things, and they should. So every single pregnancy, I have got piles. It's absolutely unbelievable. So it's like veins that are in your bum. And I think you know what piles are, right? <laughs> well, I didn't know what piles were. I said to my mum, I think the baby's <laughs> I didn't really. I was like, my bum feels weird. My mum was like, no, it's probably Farmer Joel's. Um, Farmer Joel's. She was like, in the bottom cupboard, there's an anus old chum. And when you're pregnant, you can't use pencils or anything. It's because all of your ligaments and muscles relax when you're pregnant. Your shoe size might go up as well. I was a size four before I got pregnant with any of my babies. size 11. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then I went up to size five. I'm now a size six in shoes. And I keep like, and now, because I've got like total claustrophobia and I like shoes being too tight, sometimes I buy seven and my mum just laughs. She's like, Rose, you look ridiculous. But I have to, because I don't like my toes in clothes. But now they're doing a lot of wide feet, I just get my size six fit in wide feet. Some size fives I still fit into. It depends, don't it, what mm. sort of shoe it is. But a lot of shoes are really narrow, so I'm like, oh, it's a bit too tight. But your feet relax. Sometimes they go back, sometimes they don't. And um, with the piles, they, they sort themselves out. Once your body ligaments, sort of whatever, just keep using cream and they do eventually go for most people. Um, or you can just go doctors and don't be embarrassed to go around the doctors for that because it's completely normal, isn't it? Mm. And your nun does go back. It does go back. Women get scared, you know, like women get frightened that things don't go back to normal whatever. One, I won't worry. And two, everything does just go back, doesn't it? Mm. It's designed to go back, so that does go back. So like, you know when you're in school, people go, oh, she's had three kids. You know what they say about her? Well, they shouldn't be saying anything more about her than someone ain't had kids or someone said one because it's absolutely no different. <laughs> and it is no different, is it? It's like elastic, it just goes back. Um, so yeah, we've done a little Q&A. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it's an hour long. That I've been Rosie Henshaw and you've been... I ain't doing good. You've been... been going, it's coming up, it's coming up. Gary Henshaw. No. Come on. We've been Gary. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Shut up.